At 2.18 a.m., Donetsk. A Russian ammunition convoy, 40 trucks long, pushes through the frozen mist. Suddenly, ghost echoes light up radar screens as Ukrainian FPV drones dive at 150 kilometers per hour. Operators pulling near 6G turns in total silence. One question, can cheap FPV drones bring down Russia's million dollar lifeline in a single night? Spoiler, within minutes, ammo trucks explode, fuel tanks ignite, and the front line is starved of firepower. In the next eight minutes, you'll discover how FPV drones outmaneuver Russian jammers and escorts, the physics of low altitude stealth flight and terminal dives, the psychological terror when soldiers fear the invisible wine above the tree line. This is not another recycled news clip. It's cinematic battlefield analysis you won't find on TV. Did you know? Over 60% of Russian frontline ammo losses in 2024 were caused by drones. Here's the shocker. A single FPV, cheaper than an iPhone, can cripple a $3 million convoy. Here's what happened. Wait till you see what happens when the third drone dives through tracer fire. Subscribe for cinematic military breakdowns. This convoy is not just trucks. It is the bloodstream of Russia's war machine. Inside, artillery shells, tank munitions, and crates of rockets. If it reaches frontline batteries near Avdivka, Ukrainian defenders will face another week of relentless fire. But the danger cuts both ways. Russian electronic warfare teams scan for drone signals, jammers humming, antenna arrays sweeping the air like invisible blades. For Ukrainian pilots, one misstep means instant blackout. If control links sever mid-dive, the drone becomes nothing more than falling scrap metal. The convoy itself is shielded by armored escorts, BMP infantry fighting vehicles, ZU-23 anti-air cannons mounted on flatbeds, gunners already jittery, and fingers tense on triggers. Every kilometer the convoy rolls deeper into Donbass is another minute closer to catastrophe. To stop it, the drones must thread the needle. Unseen, undetected, unstoppable. But here's the twist. The convoy isn't just moving targets. It's wrapped in electronic shields and steel guardians. So how do you sneak $500 drones through multi-million dollar defenses? The answer lies in a brutal tactical gamble. The Ukrainian operators face a brutal calculation. Engage too early, and Russian counterfire may swat them out of the sky. Strike too late, and the convoy disperses under forest cover. The terrain adds complexity. Open step with patches of woodland. Ideal for ambush, yet dangerous for maintaining signal integrity. FPV drones fly at low altitude, mere meters off the ground, to avoid radar. But every power line, every tree branch is a potential killer. Electronic warfare makes it worse. Russian jammers can drown frequencies within seconds, forcing pilots to pre-program flight paths. But pre-programming strips away flexibility, once launched, there is no turning back. And there's another rule. Do not miss. An FPV carries only a few kilograms of explosives. One strike must hit precisely. Engine block, ammo crate, fuel tank. Anything less, and the convoy keeps rolling. It's a chess game played in real time, where every drone is a pawn with one purpose, to sacrifice itself for checkmate. Every decision is a coin flip between victory and disaster. But what makes these drones so deadly isn't just the pilots, it's the hardware itself. And once you see what an FPV can do at 150 kilometers per hour, you'll understand why convoys fear the sky itself. This is where Ukraine's ingenuity shines. The FPV, first person view, drone is no ordinary quadcopter. Stripped down racing frames, carbon fiber arms, custom motors pushing speeds up to 150 kilometers per hour, each drone carries a warhead adapted from RPG grenades, mortar rounds, or shaped charges. A GoPro-sized camera streams live video into the operator's headset, giving a cockpit view. The sensation is visceral, banking hard, diving at near 90 degree. The horizon spinning like a jet in freefall. The key is precision. An FPV can thread through a window, skim under bridges, even chase vehicles through narrow gaps. Operators talk of feeling the G-forces virtually, their stomachs tightening as the drone slams into terminal dives. Against Russian jammers, Ukraine counters with frequency hopping, 
directional antennas, and line-of-sight repeaters mounted on masts and vehicles. Some operators even use Starlink uplinks to extend range, patching video feeds through encrypted channels. The cost? A few hundred dollars per drone. The value of a destroyed Russian truck filled with shells? Hundreds of thousands. The economics of asymmetry? Cheap kamikazes dismantling million-dollar supply lines. And tonight, on this cold stretch of highway, that doctrine is about to unfold in fire and steel. The first drone launches, propellers screaming against the winter air. It drops to treetop level, skimming just above frost-covered branches. Through the headset, the operator sees headlights ahead, dozens stretching like a glowing serpent. Target acquired, the lead truck. The drone dives, engine whine climbing in pitch. Russian gunners spot movement. Tracers rip across the night, but too late. Impact. A fireball engulfs the cab, black smoke curling upward. The convoy slams brakes. Chaos erupts. Soldiers scatter, some firing wildly into the sky. Second drone cuts low, banking sharp left, then rams into an ammo truck mid-column. The explosion ripples outward, shockwave lifting vehicles, igniting crates of shells. One after another, drones scream down like guided meteors. Each finds its mark. Fuel tank, cannon loader, command vehicle. Precision born not of billion dollar satellites, but of human nerves and $500 racing rigs. Think that was the end? Wrong. Because what happens after the explosions may be even deadlier than the strike itself. Wait until you see how a burning convoy can paralyze entire artillery brigades overnight. Within minutes, the highway is a graveyard of steel. Flames leap 30 meters high. Secondary explosions crackle. Stored shells cooking off, rockets launching unguided into the night. Russian escorts retreat in disarray, unable to form coherent a defense. BMPs peel off road, men abandoning their posts and radios crackling with panic. By dawn, reconnaissance confirms. At least 28 trucks destroyed, hundreds of tons of ammunition lost, equivalent to silencing entire artillery brigades for weeks. For Ukraine, the equation is simple. A handful of drones turned the tide of a battlefront. The strike sends shockwaves beyond the battlefield. Russia scrambles to reinforce convoys, spreading them thinner, doubling escorts, draining manpower from other sectors. Commanders know every truck is now a target. For NATO observers, the lesson is stark. The future of warfare isn't only hypersonic missiles or stealth bombers. It's asymmetric swarms, cheap, agile, relentless. Psychologically, the damage cuts deeper than material losses. Russian troops now fear the unseen whine above the tree line. Sleep is fractured, nerves fray. The battlefield belongs not to the loudest gun, but the quietest drone. And for Ukraine, it's proof. Ingenuity and resolve can turn weakness into dominance. You just witnessed how a handful of FPV drones shattered a convoy worth millions. The battlefield is changing, and you're seeing it unfold in real time. What's your call sign, Commander? Drop it in the comments and join the squad. Like, share, and subscribe to stay locked on the next mission analysis, because the war of drones has only just begun.